Hello Divination and welcome to our mini series 5 ways on how to style Divi's countdown timer module. The countdown timer module is very important because it can be used on several pages. For example, sales pages, coming soon pages or any page that has time sensitive information. So in this mini series, I'll be showing you step by step how to style these pages and make them look very creative. The goal of this mini series and all our mini series is to provide you with free, fun and practical web design exercises that will improve your mastery of the DV WordPress theme one day at a time. So this is the design that we'll be working towards in this quick tip. As you can see, it's kind of like winter based and um, it has this stylized countdown timer. We have this transparency here and also this title which we managed to achieve using CSS. To achieve this design, we need a few elements. We need a background image and also some CSS code which I'll link in the show notes below. So without wasting a lot of time, let me show you how we managed to design this. Let's dive in into the um, dashboard and straight away the first thing we need to do is to create a new page. So I'm going to go ahead and add a new page and we're just going to call this page winter. Let's click on use the div builder and we're going to use the visual builder. So let's start off by adding a row. So I'm going to add a single row with a countdown timer module. So for now, I'm just going to leave things as they are. The only thing I'm going to do on this um, setting is just to add the countdown timer title. And the title is going to be Winter Wonderland. So I'm going to go ahead and save. Next, we need to add a background image to the section. So I'm going to click this gear icon. And under the uh, background image, I'm just going to click on upload. I have my image in the media library. I'm just going to click on it and then upload an image. So as you can see here in the visual builder, this is the image that's been applied to that section background. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and save this. And then I'm going to go into the module settings and make some changes. So first of all, I'm going to come into a countdown timer and just change the time it needs to count down to. So I'm just going to add some minutes and the hour. And then here, we need to change this background color. So if I click on this, we need to make it transparent. So first of all, start off by clicking the white color and then lower the opacity until you get to 255, 255, 255, 0.5. So this is the precise setting that you need to get the right transparency for this. Okay, so once you're done with that, uh, we need to go into the design settings. So in the design settings, we need to make a few changes. Uh, which are changing all the fonts to a PT Sans. So we just need to move away from the default fonts. Let's start off with the header font and then search for PT Sans Narrow. It's there. The next one is the numbers font, PT Sans Narrow. And then finally, we have the label font. Okay, good. So next, we, need, we just need to uh, make sure that the header font and the labels font is set to all caps. So the labels font is here. We're just going to click this button here to make it all caps. And then on the header font, we're going to do the same. Now we need to change the color of the numbers and the labels text. So the color we need to use is going to be 526771. So that's the color we're going to use for um, the numbers text and also the labels text. So I'm just going to scroll down here until I get the labels text color. And I'm just going to paste that there. Okay, so now we have all our colors. That's looking good so far. Now we need to adjust the sizes. So let's go to the header font and just change that to 29. So with the numbers font at the moment, it's about 64. It's about the right size, but I'll just bump it up a bit to 65. And then I'm also going to go on the labels font and just bring it up again to about size 15. So in the CSS tab, we need to add a CSS class and we're going to call this CSS class custom countdown three. So once you've done that, go ahead and save. Now, next, what we need to do is to add the CSS to the page settings. So I'm going to click this expand settings, click the gear icon, because this gives us access to the CSS of this particular page. So click on the CSS tab and then paste the CSS code. 
Okay, so straight away in our visual builder, you can see now that the title has a background and we have a beautiful color. This is pretty much the design. So I'm gonna go ahead and save. And then finally, what we need to do is to add some padding. So all you have to do now is just to go to the edge of this section and just drag to give it a bit more uh, breathing space. Now, once you're done with that, all you need to do now is to either save the draft uh, if you still need to work on it, or you can just publish it. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. We will be producing daily video quick tips similar to what you've seen today. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.